Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fully install the latest, most recent, stable version of the Media Player Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV streaming device. As of the recording of this video, that would be version 19.4. If you have a Fire Stick and would like to install Kodi on it, you're not going to find it in the Amazon App Store. By the same token, version 19.4 isn't and won't be available in the Google Play Store for Android TV either. You could go right to the Kodi website and get it, but like a lot of open source app developer websites, it can be a little intimidating to find precisely what you're looking for. Well, I've taken all the guesswork out of finding and installing Kodi version 19.4. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. No must, no fuss, no greasy aftertaste. So if you're ready to learn how to install Kodi Media Player version 19.4 on your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV streaming device, grab your remotes and let's go. If you're new to Cord Cutters LI, where we try to help you save money on your cable bill, please click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Doing this will make sure you don't miss out on any new videos as they come out, and it helps to support the channel. Put your remotes down for just a moment while I get this out of the way for YouTube's sake. This video is intended to show you how to install this media player on your streaming device. It may do a better job of it, but it's no different than any media player by definition. Just like Microsoft Media Player, for example, or even a web browser. You can play your own media with it. You can access media with it. I am not showing you how to get free movies with it. I am not showing you how to get free sports with it. I'm not even showing you how to get anything free with it. I'm showing you how to install a media player called Kodi version 19.4. So with that in mind, pick those remotes back up and let's get ready to learn. Okay, so like I said earlier, you can't get Kodi from the Amazon App Store. But there is an app that you need and a setting that we need to change before we can get Kodi from the Cord Cutters LI downloads page. So from home, move over to the magnifying glass, go down to search, and start typing in the app that we need called Downloader. As soon as you start typing it, it'll pop up because it's a very popular app. Click on Downloader, and then again, and as you'll see here, it says, in my case, it says download, you own it. If you've never downloaded Downloader before, it's gonna say it's free, go get it. So let's go ahead and click on that and let that install. Okay, so after it's installed, we're not gonna go into it right away. We do need to change a setting first. So now let's move all the way over to the gear, go into that and go down to My Fire TV. Go to Developer Options. Now, if you don't see Developer Options, don't worry. It's probably because you have a brand new Fire Stick or you've updated it recently. I've made a video recently that shows you how to get that back and I'll put a link in the description so you can get there. So let's assume that you now have developer options. You go into that, go to install unknown apps and move down to downloader and make sure that that says on and we'll change it like that. Now we're ready. So hit the home button. Downloader is most likely an app that you're gonna use a lot. So let's go ahead and put that up on this favorites bar here. So it'll be easy to get to next to these other popular apps. So hold in the home button for a moment and then move over to apps. The last app installed is always going to be at the bottom of the list. And the easiest way to get to that is to move to the left. There you see downloader there. So if you hit that hamburger button on your remote, you can scroll down to where it says move to front and then you can click home. So as you can see now, Downloader is at the top of the list on your favorites bar, so you can get to it really easily. And you can move it down the list a little bit later if you want to. For now, let's go ahead and open it up. Click Allow. This is a one-time thing. And click OK. Now, up in this box where it says enter a URL or search term, you'll want to enter the short code for the cordcuttersli.com website. And that is... 893-64. Go down and click Go. That's going to redirect you, as it says, to cordcuttersli.com. When it gets there, hit that hamburger button twice to go to full screen. Now let's move over to that hamburger button or menu and go down to Tutorials right there. Click on it. Here you'll see a bunch of tutorials that we've put together here and I'm adding more all the time. So come back often, see what we have for you. Under media players, you'll see Kodi 19.4. So go ahead and click on that. That'll bring you to the tutorial on how to install Kodi. You can just scroll down 
You can read all this stuff step by step if you want, or scroll all the way down to the bottom where we have the actual download button to download it. It's a rather large app, 76 megabytes. Down into the bottom, to the right, click install. When that gets finished, don't click open just yet. Click on done. And then move to the right, click delete, and then move to the left and click delete once more. That gets rid of that big installation file because we no longer need it. And it will free up some space on your Fire Stick. So we're done in Downloader. Go ahead and click the Home button. And just like Downloader, we can move Cody to the front or on top of this Favorites bar. Let's hold in the Home button. Move over to Apps. Move to the left to find Cody at the bottom of the list. Press the Hamburger button and then say Move to Front. And there you go. The two questions I get asked most by new cord cutters are, do I need a VPN and which VPN is best? The short answer to both of those questions is it depends. If you're someone who takes their privacy seriously and enjoys unofficial streaming apps or torrenting, you should use a VPN to keep your information encrypted and private. The VPN I recommend depends on where you live. If you're here in the US like me, I'd suggest trying IPVanish. It's the fastest and helps minimize buffering. While here in the United States where nearly everything is available, unblocking content isn't as important. If I were outside the US, however, I'd suggest ExpressVPN. I feel it does a better job at ungeoblocking the content available here in the US while you're not. In either case, if you're in the market for a VPN subscription and would like to try either one, you'll find links in the description below for the best price you'll get anywhere. Clicking on these links also helps in a small way to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. All right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, the big giveaway for the Fire TV Cube third generation for Cord Cutters Ally. So I've added all the names into this wheelofnames.com um, name picker. So on the right here, I have all 232 anonymized names. And we're going to click to spin to see who wins right now. Let's go. Okay, and the winner is Todd. I'll be sending an email out to Todd to ask him where he wants me to send his new Fire TV Cube.